Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Mercy, Mercy Me on the Ook. Okay, that's most of the song right there. About half of it anyway. All right, so for our intro, we're gonna play, uh, I guess we gotta go over the chords. Uh, you need a B flat seven sus four to start the song off. And you're gonna bar the whole first fret, third string, third fret. Move it up to the second fret. That's your, uh, that's your intro. Okay, so the first chord's B flat seven sus four. You bar the whole first fret, third string, third fret. Then the next chord is B seven sus four. You move it to the second fret. You bar the second fret, and then the third string fourth fret. So you're just moving it up, you know, a half step. Okay, my strum pattern is down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. That's my strum pattern. So down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. Sometimes I'll release the pressure and get some chuz in there and stuff. Uh, but I do that twice on each one of those chords. Okay, that's your intro. And then the, uh, the verse, which this, this uh, the verse repeats like five times in a row. Uh, it's an E major 9. I'm going to bar the whole 4th fret, 3rd string 6th fret, 1st string 6th fret. That's my E major 9, and I'm going to play that same strum pattern twice. Now I need a C sharp minor 9, I'm just going to lift up my ring finger. Okay, so in case you missed that, I'm barring the whole 4th fret, 1st string 6th fret. So I just lifted up my ring, I lifted off the 3rd string completely, because I got the bar there. And that's my C-sharp minor 9, and I do two patterns on that one. All right, my next chord is F-sharp minor 9. I'm going to hold down the 4th string 2nd fret. Then I'm going to take my 3rd finger and just bar uh, the third, the 3, 2, and 1 strings at the 4th fret. Okay? I suppose you could do it like this, where you put all three fingers, and then, so you, you don't have to do the bar. But much easier, especially on the oop, to do the bar, if you can do it. That's F sharp minor 9, two strum patterns on that one. And then we come back to the chord you know from the intro. The second chord from the intro uh, is the B7 sus4. You bar the whole second fret, third string, fourth fret. That's your last chord in the verse, okay? So let's talk about the verse. It's E major 9, twice. C sharp minor 9, twice. Sharp minor nine twice. E seven sus four twice. And then it just repeats. Okay, and it follows that five times in a row. There's five verses to the song. The next thing you're going to hear is you're going to hear a saxophone solo come in, okay? All you really have to do is take the verse and move it up this way, this way, a half step. So now, instead of barring the fourth fret, I'm barring the whole fifth fret, third string, seventh fret, first string, seventh fret. It's an F major nine. And then the D minor 9 is I'm barring the, uh, the 5th fret. I just lifted up my ring finger. My, first, uh, my pinky still on the 1st string 7th fret. And then a G minor 9. So I hold down the 4th string 3rd fret. And I bar 3, 2, and 1 at the 5th fret. That's a G minor 9. Two patterns on that. And then a C7 sus4. You bar the whole 3rd fret. 3rd string, 5th fret. 
okay? So, it only does that once through that progression. All right, so it only goes through this once, um, this progression once. This is the saxophone solo part. So it's an F, uh, F major 9, twice, to the D minor 9, twice, G minor 9, once, I mean twice, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> and then the C7 sus4, twice, so they're all twice. And now you have the outro. And just play this chord to the end and just keep riding it out. I think most of the sounds you're hearing are the voices. Some people think there's other chords involved. But it just keeps, it seems like that's the background chord and there's layers on top of it. Uh, the B flat minor 9 for the outro is you bar the whole first fret, first string, third fret. Okay? And you just keep playing that, um, that pattern over and over again. So you've got your intro. You've got your verse five times in a row, that's the E major 9 part. Then you move it up a half step to F major 9 for that pattern, that's the sax solo. Then you have the outro on the B flat minor 9. Okay? Um, here, I'll play through it. I don't think I'll do the verse five times, but uh, I'll try a little bit. This is the fifth time. Move it up a half step. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Play more ook. <laughs>